Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this edition of Authorax, we will be talking about the SB1 stove blower. Now, this stove blower comes in two pieces, but the main piece is this unit. In this part of the unit, you have the actual blower built in, you have the on off switch, and the six foot power cord. The way this attaches to some stoves, those with a heat shield, is you clip the unit on with this clip right here by pressing down on the heat shield and this part sits on the top of the stove. So you're able to trap heat that is pulled from behind the stove in this space, blow it across, and then so you get a very nice warm jet of air coming out this snout. The second piece is this piece. It comes with the unit and is optional. You don't have to use it but you can get a little more resonance time, a little more velocity by putting this piece on and you can direct it. So if you wanna, if, if this is in the middle of your, not, not in the middle of your fireplace or stove and you want to be able to push air to one direction or the other, say 30 degrees to the left or 30 degrees to the right to get to the main part of your room, you can definitely do that. Like I said, this is controlled by the switch here but you can also get a wireless remote control that we sell or a plug-in speed control to be able to control how much airflow is put out by this or to be able to turn it on or off. For those that don't have a heat shield kit or heat shield built on, you can get our heat shield kit which allows you to be able to have this sit properly on your stove without the unit falling off um, if you don't have a heat shield. Uh, what you can also do is put a counterweight because the, the weight here is very heavy in the back where the actual blower is. You can put a counterweight in the top, a decorative counterweight, in order to keep the unit from uh, not being stable. And that is off the racks for the Churlin SB1 stove blower.